Wow, where did it all begin? Where'd we come from? I actually started all the way back in 2009, just the very genesis of what's going on here. And, <laughs> and Aaron had been watching Jack's YouTube movies and videos and actually befriended him on Facebook, right? All the way back then, but you really didn't have any connection or contact or anything like that. And, and, and but we have to then fast forward and bridge that to like December uh, 27th? Something yes, in there. Yes. 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 Right. Of 2000, I'm holding you to it, 2012. Yes, yes, and, right. and Jack had posted a New Year's resolution that he was looking to accomplish three things in the new year. One, lose some weight. <laughs> Two, get a million subscribers. And three, get a girlfriend. Yeah. Now, Aaron, being extremely observant, slightly sarcastic, and a tad forward young woman, saw this and decided to lob a response to his post. I'll be your girlfriend. And after reading her post, Jack checked out her pics and her profile. Hmm. He was intrigued, intrigued, curious, and rationally a bit concerned for his life. <laughs> now it just happened that Aaron lived in Philadelphia. And in a twist of fate, in just a few days, Jack, I believe you were going to Philadelphia. And, and so Jack then returned serve. Hey, I'm coming into town. Let's meet. The ball was in your court. So the night came, right? December 29th, 2012, the rest of your lives began. Aaron, on the night that I met you, before you walked into the Irish pub, I was so scared that I was going to get catfished. <laughs> There's no way I'm actually going to meet a girl this beautiful at this bar. But then you walked in with your healthy posse, and that was that. I remember being completely smitten and shocked by this girl who wouldn't stop asking me questions. <laughs> I thought you were flirting. But I soon learned that, no, no, this is just how she is. And it became one of the many things I love about you. Your inquisitiveness, your humor, your ability to gracefully handle yourself in any social scenario. But perhaps even more than that, what I truly love about you, why I'm proud to marry you today, is that you're the kind of person that I look up to, that I aspire to be. Your daily strength inspires me and motivates me to be a better person. And I am so lucky to be married to that person. I can't picture life without you. And in the words of a very wise philosopher, I want to grow old with you. Uh, Adam Sam, that's right. <laughs> Damn right. I love you and can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm the luckiest girl alive today. Today, I get to stand here with you and devote myself to you and our marriage. I feel incredibly grateful to know you, to love you, and most of all, to become your wife. You have made all of my dreams come true, and then some. Your humor brightens my darkest days, even when I don't want to admit that you're actually funny. Your kindness makes me want to be a better person. In a world, in a city, that can feel incredibly lonely. Thank you for being my home. It is my absolute honor to pronounce you husband and wife, Jack. Now you may kiss your beautiful bride.
It's rare to find a person with a personality so vibrant as Aaron's. It's only fitting that she would find her match in Jack, a kindred spirit, if there ever was one. We are all hashtag blessed to have witnessed the joining of these two souls. And so I would ask all present to please raise your glasses to wish these newly beds, newly weds, best wishes on the start of their journey. May you always continue to enjoy the flow of eternal happiness, good fortune, and YouTube subscribers. Bottoms up. We're at a bar and Jack starts talking to someone, a woman about our age, and I'm like, all right, is this one of the legions of Jack fans? You know, like, is she gonna be gone after a selfie and autographed eight by 10? And then I don't hear once from her, are you Jack from Jack's films? So I'm like, this is different. And over the years, Aaron's brought a lot of great changes, changes into Jack's life. Um, they complement each other very well. So Jack is a good listener. He's very easygoing, and Erin is patient, and she knows where Tahiti is, and and she knows what sports teams do exist and which ones don't exist, and did I mention she's patient, and the uh, their home is one full of love, understanding, reinforcement, and the two loudest dogs that never ever shut up ever. Remember my day, our day, and I just I can only hope and pray that you guys have the same, same love and, and the rest of your life, because it's a great thing.